since its humble beginnings, visionaries have always been drawn to our hidden valley. The city founders funded the first train station in the area back in 1888, sparking a quick infusion of people, more infrastructure, and three months later, the city was incorporated. Over the decades, Escondido has enjoyed steady and controlled growth, reinventing itself occasionally to keep up with the ever-changing times. Today, Escondido is a cosmopolitan city of over 125,000 and is considered the capital of North San Diego County. To keep up with this distinction, in the mid-80s, community leaders forged a dynamic new vision of Escondido, agreeing that arts and culture are a major factor for economic vitality and quality of life. If you would have told me that in 1985, when we were voting for the Center for the Arts, I, w I would say, well, I don't know, Escondido's a little too conservative. I'm not so sure we're going to be so excited about art. But it has built. If you just look at the investment of the Center for the Arts, Escondido that we voted for in 1985, that's over an $80 million investment in art. Just like some cities wish they could have a restaurant row, the city of Escondido is going to be an art mecca, and it's, and it's reaching that level now. It's become a magnet for the arts. I personally live in Rancho Bernardo, and I find myself coming to Escondido all the time for artistic events and art shows. Every weekend there's an art reception. Being born and raised in Escondido, I've seen this community come uh, a long way. Years ago, it was a working ranch, a cowboy ranch, and the stories that were told about the cowboys coming into Escondido on Friday night or Saturday night, in fact, a lot of the young women were told they couldn't come downtown when the cowboys came into town. And, and that's what Escondido was. And what it is today is something totally different, but we have embraced our history here. We have, uh, we have preserved it, and we have added the culture that I think makes the mix and makes Escondido's future probably the brightest and the boldest in North County. When I spoke with some city council uh, people in San Diego, they told me about what a great uh, area Escondido was for the arts. I was thrilled with the reception that I got this morning. And Nikki is internationally recognized as one of the major artists of the 20th century. The idea came up to introduce the community to Nikki's art by having her lend these three pieces. So if the community is receptive to this art, we knew that the community would be receptive to what she wants to do on a much grander scale in Kid Carson Park. So it was a great day. It was a very good day. In it every is, way. Every, it is an awesome I day. never, this is where it is perfect for this people. We expected to find a lot of people who would love it, but some people who would not like it. To this point in time, Everybody seems to love it. Built in 1995, the California Center for the Arts Escondido has already become the venue to play when top performers come to San Diego. But its president, John Haynes, sees his center as much, much more. The California Center for the Arts Escondido is fundamentally about building community. The power of the arts to bridge all of the perceived and real differences between us is tremendous. It's a place where we can come to celebrate one another's music, one another's songs, stories, and create bridges that can cross all the potential barriers that might serve to divide us. The real power and the real value to a community of a center like this is that it has the power to create community unlike almost any other force. Yeah! 